Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome back for another From the Collection Fridays. A series where I take things from my collection and show it to you, my viewers. And this week it is my Star Wars Revenge of the Sith AT-RT with AT-RT Driver. Um, so this figure is... I have no idea how old now. Old? Um... It has real walking action because you might remember back then there was a lot of sort of gimmicks and stuff in the toy line. Uh, I picked this up probably five to ten years after the film had actually been released. I think it was, I'm pretty sure I got it off somebody from um, TFNZ, so Transformers New Zealand. Somebody else was selling it and I was like, oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having that. And it was originally sealed. Um, but I wanted to open it because, you know, whatever. Um, I was going to say, you can probably see that there's instructions in there. So, if I move that, yeah, you can see the instructions. So, it's real walking action. It's a nice box. Nice details on the back there that show off, you know, what it is. The thing I find funny is that, like, that's definitely a different ATRT um, driver. And that's the same for on the front. Um, obviously, they were they had other figures that came, well, other vehicles that came out. So there's like the Bark Speeder, General Grievous's wheel bike, Boga with Obi Wan Kenobi. I'm guessing, like I'm I'm a bit away from the the back of the box, so I'm guessing that that's that um, creature he rides in the in the thing. Um, so yeah, it takes uh, like a double A battery. Um, I stupidly um, forgot to take the batteries out. So I was a bit sort of worried that, uh, you know, they might have corroded the terminals inside. Luckily, they don't seem to have, uh, you know, gone. So it's it was working a short while ago. Um, I don't have the hands of this guy on properly in it. Now, it does have, um, you know, a swivel for the chin turret. goes up and down, side to side sort of thing. But it, basically, I think it's on a ball, so it has a bit of rotation. Um, I think when it came out of the box, you had to adjust one of the legs until it clicked into a certain position. And you can see that the um, antennas on the back there have uh, bent. Um, I'm pretty sure that that's a thing that you can fix with just a bit of um, a bit of heat. And that uh, the figure itself comes from the era of like you know five points of articulation. Uh, in this case, he doesn't actually have five points. He's permanently molded in the crapping position. He sits. His arms do move, so he can do a sort of creepy dance thing. Uh, and oh, there's a little bit of articulation at the hip. I'm pretty sure there is at the head too, but it's very stiff. So probably not. Who knows? Obviously, there were more articulated versions of the figures um, released as uh, like standard figures and stuff so you could always replace this guy um, now the on and off switch for this is probably in one of the most stupid places like you can see the battery compartment is here which is very very handy but the on and off switch is underneath it's under here um, which is kind of a stupid point well you know a stupid place for it to be so if you flip it on that's it very very slow motion. I don't know if that's because of the batteries or not. I'll just uh, turn that around. And a very loud motor, so I'll be chucking the batteries out of it after this. Right. Uh, so you can see nicely, nicely sculpted grips on the feet. Fairly well weathered. Um, now I'm pretty sure this guy's actually done for like Kashyyyk, you know the the Wookiee homeworld 
and stuff. Something like that, because that's the only place I can remember those style of um, armour. It has quite nice paint details around the leg and the armour, and fairly well sculpted details on the inside, like little, I'm guessing it's kind of like a saddlebag or something. Non-functional. Nice stuff along the back there. I'll zoom in so you can actually see it. Basically like both sides look the same. Um, except one side's got like nasty screws and stuff so you're probably going to want to have it posed that way. Uh, the legs can be popped off if you need to and um, you know tidy them up. And you can see like, excuse me, if I think about there if I get it right. You can see the detailing even goes to like the back claw of the feet. All around, not too bad a figure, um, you know. Certainly fits in that era of Star Wars. Um, you know, particularly those style of Star Wars toys. Um, I enjoy it quite a bit, but, you know, I kind of wish it didn't have the walking gimmick and stuff, because, you know then you might be able to get more articulation in the legs um, and stuff, you know, because if you've played Battlefront or seen like the Clone Wars cartoon, you know, you've seen these things going at speed and like jumping over logs and stuff. Uh, so having like the proper fixed leg it's kind of weird. I'm, I'm guessing it's the same kind of assembly they would have used for an ATST. Um, which is, you know, it's cool. It looks good. Um, it would look best in like a diorama or something that it actually fits in. Because, you know, with the green camo paint and stuff, it sort of limits where you would expect to see it. So, all around, pretty cool. Uh, very, very old thing. It's what, what, 20, maybe 20 years old now? So, you know, it's pretty cool that it still works. It didn't come with batteries, so I didn't have to worry about them corroding it from the inside. And that, um, but, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this, and until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.